Hi, this is Daryl again, and today I'm going to show you this tablet display screen which has a colour display. It looks like this. Now I've recorded in 4K outside in the bright sunlight. There's no backlight on this display. Uh, it does have a backlight, but it's not turned on because I'm outside in the sun. And the point of this, I'm showing you half the screen. This is a 7.8 inch screen, so you're only seeing three inches or something. No, I don't know. How would it be? If it's 7.8 diagonally, then it's probably like about five inches across. Yeah, give you a rough idea. About the width of a floppy disk. There we go. There's an irrelevant size measurement for you. It's about the size of a page of a book. I don't know. What kind of a book? A 7.8 inch book. I don't know. Anyway, what's the point? It's an very interesting kind of display. The pen uh, allows you to write on the screen and the pen has a pressure sensitive tip and when I draw those lines the thin lines are thin because I'm not pushing very hard and the thick lines are thicker because I'm pushing on the display stronger. Uh, you can choose different colors. It doesn't have that many colors. It is a full color display though. It's just that the, the writing program only has pink and light blue and dark blue and green and gold or slash yellow. It has gray. There's a bug walking across the screen because I'm outside. But you can see that everything's casting a shadow. It's lit by the sun. When I'm looking at the display, I can't see the pixels on the display. I think it's... This display is 1404 pixels by 1872 pixels, so it's 1400 pixels across the screen that you see. But it's only about 5 inches across. What's that in centimeters? Um, multiply that by 2.25 or something. 5 times 2 is 10, about 12. 12 and a half centimeters? Does that make sense? Yeah, that sounds about right. Same size as a CD. That's right, I compared it to the size of a floppy disk drive. It's about the old floppy disks, the actual flexible ones from the olden days, like 1983. They're about the same size as a CD-ROM, which is the same size as a CD. Does anybody even know what the size of a CD is now? Anyway, being slightly comical. The display is weird. When you draw on it, when you draw over it, it doesn't completely erase what's underneath it. Now, I think this is just drawing errors. The, the display can't fully erase. So when you turn the pen upside down, it can erase. It's got an eraser on the end of the pen, which is also pressure sensitive, I think. But you can see that the screen doesn't completely erase. It, it only partially erases. Now I've recorded this in 4K so that you can see it. You can see bits of dirt and dust on the screen. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. It's dirty and I think that's fine. The thing the thing that's not so great, it's it's sort of imperfect. This note application is perfectly fine for drawing notes. Uh, maybe if you're in a business meeting, you could draw some graphs. I think you can export these images. They're probably PNG files or something like that. You can probably export them. You can probably export them to something else. You could send them in an email, perhaps. The other applications that were there, they don't work properly. The Chrome web browser crashes every time I open it. I looked at some web page and it started crashing. Now this goodreader.com, this is a web page. You can look at this web page yourself. I was looking at the web page that describes how the screen works. I just thought it would be interesting to show. Maybe not. The point of this video, the point of this video, it's for people who were considering buying one of these. So you can actually see what you get. Because I found it incredibly hard to find any close-up imagery of one of these types of displays on the internet. 
Not a, not a video or anything. Couldn't find anything. Um, so here's some tabs open in the web browser. This is the DuckDuckGo web browser. It's the one that doesn't crash. Uh, this view here, look, it's color bars. You can see some other image inside the color bars. When, when I move the screen around, I can see the word sleep written in text. The sleep screen of the e-reader leaves an impression on the display that can't always be erased. When the screen's fully white, it seems to be fully white, but when the screen goes to black, it's not completely black. And the blackness is dependent on what's been shown on display earlier in the day or last week or something. Um, I tried to look at some color test patterns so you can kind of have a look at how the display works. Uh, and then I looked up some portraits so you can see what a photograph of a person looks like. Now these are just images that come up, but it's high resolution images. And what, what you can see is that the screen doesn't entirely, it doesn't go to fully black. Uh, maybe it's the amount of power that it uses. Perhaps darker colors require more power for it to display it so it can't show a completely black image uh, like it, it can't go to full saturation black um, so you can see the squares left behind on the previous view but each time it redraws the previous things that were displayed fade out a little more but it bugs me that I can always see the sleep thing and the sleep is from when the tablet goes to sleep it puts the word sleep on the screen which I can see on the screen every time the screen's dark or showing an image. So the screen has a kind of, it's a kind of burn-in, uh, which kind of bugs me. So that needs a software update to get rid of that sleep screen. The sleep screen should just show a blank screen, not with anything on it. Maybe tiny text up on the top corner saying sleep or something. I've got some um, e-books. It's an ebook reader primarily, so this is just a random page out of a random ebook. Um, I just wanted to see what the text looked like. This is in a horrible font. This is one of those awful fonts that has. This is a book about politics. I don't care about the politics. I've never read this book. It was just a book that um, I found uh, to, to display. The I, at this point, I'm looking at the bottom of the screen and I'm looking at the settings for changing the font. So I'm making the fonts bigger, there we go, and changing it to a serif font, which is what you would want to use to read a book if you're actually going to read a book. And then you can see a sentence written in a font. The, look, here's the control thing down the bottom. You can see it's got color buttons. I hate this version of Android. I just don't even understand. It seems to have half of the settings are missing. I don't really understand how it works. I, I use iPhones and iPads. Um, so I just found the whole operating system terrible. Um, can't really install all of the apps that I expect to be able to install. You know, I was sold as a Android 11, which I presumed meant same as on a phone, but apparently not. It's a weird version of Android that's not normal. And now has the video run out. That's the end of the video. That's too many words. It was boring. It was boring, I know. But that's a DES screen. What is it called? DES. Display Electronic Slurry E-Paper. Display Electronic Slurry E-Paper. That's what it's called. It's a horrible name. Thanks for watching.